Kia ora koutou. We are up to uh, question four. This is part eight lists. Uh, this one is pretty interesting. Uh, I think this one's a great program that you can actually, I don't know, you, you could develop this. After you finish this, you could develop it a bit further. Maybe you were making a little website or something and somebody could come along and click the button and get a different Magic 8 Ball prediction. Uh, type in a question and get a future predictor on the internet. Why not? The internet is great at predicting the future. Uh, write a program to simulate a magic eight ball if it has a uh, it has a list of positive, neutral, and negative value answers that could be used in response to a yes no type question. It asks the user to key in a question and randomly selects an answer. This one could be done with either one list or three lists. So you could have a list of positive, list of uh, negative, list of uh, neutral. Um, the results make it feel as if the computer can give you a sensible answer to your questions. Um, I'm going to do this with one list because you don't actually gain anything, I don't think, by having three lists unless you really wanted to make someone's day and only give them positive, uh, po positive answers or if you did it the other way and only wanted to give them negative answers. You could uh, change the probability of each, so you're more likely to get a positive or a negative or a neutral answer. Mm, I don't think that's really in the spirit of a Magic 8 Ball, you know, the old ones that you shake up. I think just random, same probability across the board is great, and that's what we're going to do. Um, first thing that we need is we need what those answers are actually going to be. Uh, and so, I have gone to the Google, and I have found this website here, which just happens to have a list of the 20 answers that are in a normal Magic 8 Ball. So I have copied that, and we're going to use that in our code. Um, right, so first of all, we need a question. So we need a uh, qu question is going to equal uh, input from the user. Input, input, um, uh, welcome to the Magic Apple. And we're going to do a new line there. What question would you like? answered and new line there as well um, and then what we want is we need a list uh, how do we make a list of course square brackets um, we're going to put in that uh, those answers we found online it's going to need quite a fair bit of tidying up but so answers is going to equal Oh, not a dictionary. We want that one, square brackets. And we're going to go control V. Okay. Here is a whole lot of blank text. So what we need now is to highlight each of these lines and shift. Now you could actually write a small program to do this automatically. Uh, but I'm not. Um, what I am going to do is I'm going to keep doing this and you can feel free to jump ahead and to speed me up. Not a lot is going to happen in the next little while. Maybe I will edit this video down. Or maybe I will just keep going.
Cool, and that's it. Uh, so we now have our list of 20 different answers, all in quotation marks, so they're all strings, and all with a comma at the end, so that, uh, apart from, of course, the last one, last one doesn't need it, get rid of that one. Okay, now we need some way to randomly produce one of these answers. How have we done that in the past? Well, what we've done is we've imported something from the random module. So we've said uh, from random, and what was the function that we pulled out of the random module? Uh, it was a function that allows us to grab one random thing from an array, it is choice. So from random import choice. And here, what we want to do is we want to print uh, answers dot choice. I really don't like that it's called answers. I'm going to uh, call it replies. I'm going to call that variable replies instead. Okay, let's run it. Welcome to the magic eight ball. Uh, what question would you like answered? Um, uh, it is uh, will I become a million millionaire? Oh, I've done that wrong. Choice is not a method on an array. Uh, it's a function in itself. We, uh, we need to do choice, um, choice uh, replies. Um, will I become an astronaut? Better not tell you now. Hey, great, it's working. Um, okay, the program's now over. That's a real shame. I want to keep going. I want to keep. I want to keep going. I want to keep answering, uh, asking questions, getting my future. Um, let's go. And so instead. Uh, let's put this in a while loop. So, uh, an, an infinite loop is fine because our user will just quit the process once they've had enough of it, right? You could put, add in a little thing that says exit or stop or terminate or do, do something else. I don't think you need to here because you can just keep asking and asking and asking on the loop. Um, don't hit run yet or else you will be in trouble because the program will never stop or pause or wait for input and it will just spew out answers and uh, you won't be able to get your computer back. You'll have to reset that uh, the browser and reopen REPL uh, or possibly the whole computer. Uh, while true, print choice replies and what we need now is we need some, uh, we need, what did we call it? Question, we can reset that to input Grab that question, uh, and I don't need ma welcome to the magic eight, eight ball. Um, let's go. Uh, in fact, let's say ask another question. Yeah, you see how that? Oh no, you don't see it all. You see how that dash in at the moment? isn't pink anymore, it's changed. Whoa, whoa, just trying to zoom in. Uh, that's because I've accidentally ended up with two quotation marks there. Get rid of that one and everything comes right. Now, what question would you like answered? Uh, well, do you know my future? Outlook not so good. <laughs> Ask another question. Do you know my... If I can type today, it would be really excellent. Do you know my, fr my friend's future? Cannot predict now, <laughs> okay. Um, so have a bit of fun with this, ask some cool questions, show it off to your friends, uh, see what you get. You now have your own very own Magic 8 Ball and uh, excellent. That's it, that's done.
See you in the next question.